I just wanted to let you know I'm not on my Nikon camera today. I'm on my cell phone because I just wanted to get something off my chest. Today I wanted to talk about um, the crawfish incident. I was working and we had this Mardi Gras thing last week and we served crawfish. Now, I didn't know that the way you cook them is you throw them in a boiling pot and they just suffer and die and then you serve them for us to eat, right? I don't eat really fish too much, especially things that have faces on them still. It bothers me. I'd like my food to be like dead dead, you know, like already cut up in, in like squares or whatever so I don't see that they were once little happy cows or little cutesy little piggies or whatever uh, I don't like eating food like that at all it bothers me like a tremendous amount so the crawfish incident starts here I was at work and there were two crawfish left so I'm going through my day and I'm all happy whatever doing my work then uh, eight and a half hours later, I come out and a supervisor was spraying the crawfish and he was like, huh, why are the crawfish still alive? And then somebody was like, they're not, they're dead. And this guy was like, oh, uh, they're alive, see, so watch. And he <laughs> sprayed them, right? They were indeed alive. Now, I screamed because it scared me because he came up with his claws like, mm -hmm. So it freaked me out and I was like, oh my God, what are y'all going to do with them? Y'all can't just leave them here, right? The cute little crawfish. And so I'm like doing all my work and then uh, a particular supervisor was like, I'll take care of them. I'm going to put them in the food dispenser. And I was like, are you kidding me? You can't do that. You can't put the crawfish in a food dispenser. That is horrible. That's so mean. Like. If you're going to have the crawfish, you either eat the damn thing or you cut its head off and make it die fast, semi-peacefully. You don't torture it. That's messed up. It's mean to torture those poor little fishies who live just so we can eat them. All the guys make it this big thing to... I, I think they did it as a joke for me, although I didn't find it funny at all. They kept like... Oh, look over here, Melissa, and they had the little crawfish, and they were holding him, and I kind of turned away, and I turned back, and I saw him throw something in the food disposal, and he turned it on, and, like, I started, like, freaking out, I went over there, and, no, he didn't actually throw the crawfish in there, there were two cute little crawfish still sitting in the little, little metal pan of water in it, so, like, I was kind of like, oh... So I called my fiance and I was like, baby, what do I do, right? I was gonna call him and my plan was to tell him the whole story and to have him come in and, you know, hack the heads off with something or, or you know, make it a quick death so they're not being tortured anymore. And you know what? I bet these poor things haven't even been fed since Thursday. And so I was like super sad about it. So I called my fiance in a plan for him to come in the kitchen and just kill the damn things and off with their heads, you know, quickly, you know, less suffer the better, right? Um, so they, they don't suffer anymore from these people like trying to like eat them or play with them or torture them or whatever, right? So that was my plan, but I couldn't follow through. I was so upset, I was like, Never mind. I'm not strong enough to do it. It hurts so much. I know it's the right thing to do. So I just left and got in the car. And believe it or not, I cried a lot in the car. I just love life a lot. Like, I really love everything. So it really upsets me when people are, like, destroying it just because they can. Not because they want to eat the crawfish. It was just because it was bothering me that they wanted to go all crazy with that or whatever. All right, guys, thanks for listening to my rant. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I had a nightmare about it, but you know, we just put that aside.